Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the tabs element to switch between different content using tabs. Now, I know last year, early this year, I released a tutorial showing you how to use custom buttons and multi-site box to create the same effect. But then someone commented that I could have just used the tabs element. And I was like, oh yeah. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do the same exact thing, just the easy way. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I just kind of want to show you the brand new Wix Fix website. Just this is a little plug here. But if we scroll down to like the third section, you can kind of see I have this little toggle, which allows, you know, my users to switch between popular templates or even bundles of templates. So this is basically what we're going to be building in today's video. So here on Sound of Wix Studio, what I want to do is go ahead and add my empty section here. And if you're not aware of what that is, I will leave that linked in the description below. But what I want to do with this design is I just kind of want to split it into a top and bottom half. We'll add a little bit of a gap in between. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste in some text, send it over here to the left, center it. And I'm going to grab this section here, grab this row, and I'm going to set this to max content. Okay, cool. Now in this second row down here, this is kind of where I want to add our different tabs. So what I want to do is come over to add. We're going to go to a layout tools and you're going to see an option here for tabs. Now, what I want to do is just drag out one of these different options here. Okay. And what I want to do is just go ahead and center it and even stretch it like that. For this tab though, what I want to do is just go ahead and delete this. We'll go ahead and delete this. And now here we have our little tab here. What I want to do with this is just simply go over to our store options and we're just going to grab a product gallery, throw that in, and we can just go ahead and stretch it. Perfect. Just like that, it looks really nice. Now for the design of the tab, what I will say is I'm going to uh, just set this to be a white background, nothing crazy. Um, and then for the tabs itself, we're just going to go ahead and set this to be like a white background. And then maybe when you hover over it, there's like a slight change in color. And we'll just make sure that the border is also black on all the states. Now what I want to do with this tab group is simply go to manage tabs. And I'm just going to delete all of the other ones because we don't need all, any of these other ones here. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this top one to templates. And I'm going to rename this bottom one to bundles, right? And if I grab templates and I grab this slider, I want to go into settings and instead of it being like all products, what I want to do is just simply choose my templates. Perfect. You could also do best sellers if you have ones that are selling pretty well and want to sell more of those. But I'm just going to choose templates for now. Now what I want to do is grab the tabs group again, manage tabs, switch over to bundles. And with bundles selected, I'm then going to go into the settings here, make sure it says specific category. And I'm going to select bundles. I'm assuming it's going to take a second to load everything. So I'm just going to go into preview mode and you can kind of see it working here. We have our templates and we have our bundles. And I think that looks really, really clean. Now, what I will say is one thing that you may notice is with the original design that I had on the homepage, you'll notice that it kind of goes off screen and it kind of goes off both sides of the screen, which kind of allows us to create like this effect, which is a little bit nicer. And I will say I'm only really able to create this effect by creating a custom tab group. And you can kind of see by the buttons, they look a little different as well. And like I said, that's because I created a custom tab group with custom buttons and a multi-state box and a little bit of code. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, then let me know. But as far as this goes, I think this is a really, really cool little feature that we have here inside of Wix Studio that allows you to kind of create different tabs where you can switch between different types of content. So 
And that's basically how you do that here in Wix Studio. But again, let me know if you're interested in seeing how to create the custom one with the multi-state box and a little bit of code. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.